Hello there everybody, Embrix here uh, with another mock for my mock city and this is a clothes store. Now this one's at the, mm, I didn't do this after the beach exactly, I did a toy store first and a McDonald's, an ATM and a bathroom and like the beach before this and the park obviously and, but then I did this before the road so I'm kind of doing it out of order but you know uh, I have a specific order but not it's not the order in which I made it. Uh, it uses a cut base plate and that is actually part of the base plate that if you saw my old mock video just search Embrace old lots it should pop up um my safe that i said i'd open uh if i get like a, a million subscribers then i'd open it well uh it's part of that plate that it used to be on but anyway i use some official lego stickers from the lego ninjago sticker book i have a kid right there you know how uh, clothes stores they always have like a model in the clothes and then they have just advertisements for the clothes and like sales and stuff. I use a lamp right here with a clear minifigure head, just a simple build. We got some, I, I made this as a sidewalk, just tiling, but then some exposed studs for maybe if they wanted to step there, uh, you know, if I wanted to attach a figure. Here is the sort of clothes store logo. Yeah, that's okay. Got a revolving door based off the, um, the art like city uh shopping mall go check my review out about that and that just fell in so i gotta fix that and i just fixed that and this was a bit revolutionary i'd say uh but let's take a look at the outside we have just some nice panel windows um back designs but here's the reason this was revolutionary i swear i built this in the month of either October or September, no, September. I built this in the month of September before we even knew Harry Potter was coming back, before we had um, even leaks of the Hogwarts Express, any of that. The Hogwarts Express had that feature where the passengers, the whole um, uh, side open. And I even said in that video that I did that before. And here's where I did that before. That was something revolutionary because I really wanted this to have easy access. So I designed that. I just wanted to, like, I'm not saying that I'm mad Lego did it. I'm so happy because it makes the set so much better. But I just want to know that I did have that original idea. And it's not just um, because of that set. But here's why it was so revolutionary, this uh, sort of build. Because until then, for roofs, I'd just been using... Um, plates you know plates uh like i use some tiling with a couple of studs exposed then put plates over it but now um i was running out of plates so i made a brick built roof and that's why this was so revolutionary so pulling the wall out to give a lot of access this thing just comes out with it it's um connected to the side right here and then this old flat section also comes out you got this that comes out and we got this um, whole little um, section right here, which is probably the um, hardest one to take out because things keep falling off because it has to like have a little semicircle opening for the revolving door. But uh, once all the roof stuff is removed, then uh, we have a better look at the interior. Again, as with all my uh, Mock City builds, but I forgot to mention, figures are not um, official. They're all custom with parts I, f I have um, of figures, and um, they're not complete. Like, I still need to put a bunch more figures, but you can see after the revolving door comes down, we got a bit of steps, a seat, and a checkout counter. There's the display on this side. We have, um, like, a tuxedo top and a dress. Here we have a hat display, a bunch of those crook hats, as I call them, and a cowboy hat. We have just a row of pads, some with very nice printing, like those two. Some with two different colored legs. And then just a d bunch of different colors. And maybe we... Yeah, that's gonna come. Here, let's put him as a holder to where to put this back. But here it is. And sorry if my voice uh, sounds a bit off. Maybe I'm getting a cold, but there's even a belt on one of them. So yeah, a lot of nice colors. But actually, you can see... I like this fig a lot that I designed, but some more dresses, and that's why she's making that face right there. She's like, <gasps> because she really likes them. Um, so yeah, I like um, adding in funny figure expressions when I can. Like this guy, he's wearing a crab, but he looks really weird. Yeah, this guy, I'm definitely gonna have to fix. And he's looking at the pants to match his top. 
actually so and in the back we just have some torsos that one i know uh, belongs like in a jail cell but could just be a striped a uh, striped design we have a batman shirt in the back a lloyd shirt there maybe a ninja uh, maybe a ni uh, karate outfit i love legoland shirt a hoodie with a shirt underneath and a sleeveless dress with just a necklace right there but that is pretty much it for the interior and pretty much it for the build on the whole and oh, whoa that was unintentional but yeah that is it for the build on the whole and you can see i just keep knocking stuff out sorry about that but by the way i did forget to mention this is supposed to come out to just open it up a bit more and here is its home on my city layout um uh actually it used to be on this side of this whole block right here it used to be on this side but then i moved that over here uh when i added in this road so yeah that is it for this video i hope you liked it and if you did please subscribe leave a comment down below and i will talk to you again next time bye